Oh, come on now! <laughs> I do not want to admit how afraid, how frightening that is. This is a welt. Hey everyone, it's Bruffton. We are here in beautiful Westlake in Austin, Texas, where I have decided to challenge professional tennis coach Bryant Salcedo. You can see him there behind me warming up. He's firing off some serves. He's a really strong player. I've never played at all, or almost never at all. He's gonna do some training with us. We're gonna hop out, gonna see how I do. Let's go check it out. Okay, we are here with professional tennis coach, Bryant Salcedo. Bryant, it's so great to have you here. Thanks for having me, bro. Uh, so I, I've played tennis maybe five times in my life. You have a little bit more experience than that. Uh, I know you don't like talking about yourself necessarily, but why don't you just give us the full resume? Let me, let me hear what I'm up against today. No, absolutely. First of all, we're gonna have a blast. Um, it's a great opportunity. Thanks for having me out here. Um, tennis has been a part of my life from a very young age. Um, a few uh, accomplishments. Uh, I've reached a high of number four in the country in, um, in junior tennis prior to college. Um, a highlight in college, uh, my sophomore year, defeated the guy who went on to win the NCAA title. Wow. Later that year, played uh, Roger Federer in the U.S. Open, so that's pretty cool. And a handful of guys that are top 50 in the world I've, I've competed against. So. Wow. So top level. Top yeah. level stuff, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, so before we get to the main event, the game, we're going to do a little bit of training. Yep. Uh, you want to tell me a little bit what I'm in for? Yeah, we'll, 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 uh, we'll try to hit it all. Ground strokes, volleys, serves, just a good foundation and uh, making sure you're leaving here enjoying the game of tennis. <laughs> awesome, that sounds great. All right, well, without further ado, let's get it going. Let's hit the court. Woo! We're going to two, two feet in. We'll go uh, double foot in here. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, this will help with recovery. I don't think I'm doing this correctly at all. <laughs> Two uh, in. You know what, one? Isn't like that? One out, yep, there you go. Oh, oh. God. It's okay. Oh, disaster. That's why we're doing this. Disaster. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Take a breather. Take a breather. Take right. a breather. Quick, quick, you know, quick, quick, quick oh. breather. And... Just shout at me, okay? Okay. Back at it. Now we'll go back. Okay. Back here. Over. Go back. Here. Okay. Okay. So I think okay. you're probably getting warm, huh? I think I'm getting warmed okay. up. <laughs> Low to high, follow through over the shoulder. Nice. Cover. Don't be afraid to swing at it. Very nice. Transfer cool. that weight forward. Oh, recover, recover. Very nice. Recover. Good follow through. Looking good, bro. Looking good. Good, good pace. Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Very nice. How did you do? Uh, I felt okay. Uh, there's just like a lot of micro adjustments you have to make, like on your feet, there's a lot of that, you always hear that tennis squeaking, like a million little footsteps before you hit. It's like hot and the sweat's coming to my eyes and all this stuff. It's good, it's going good, I'm having fun. Are you ready for the game? Absolutely not. No, I will be destroyed mercilessly by a totally nice guy, but he will mercilessly, mercilessly destroy me, I'm sure of that. We want to make sure we establish a, uh, a routine in terms of how many times we're going to bounce the ball. Got it. So like two to three, four. So make sure, you know, we're bouncing the ball. We create a routine. Rackets out in front with the ball. Mm -hmm. We want the toss to go slightly above the top of the racket, like six, six inches higher. So Got it. like right about there. Watch yeah. me just. Wow. Nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna do my routine. Do your routine. Yep. Oh, well. Okay. That's okay. We want the toss to bounce. Try to make it bounce on my racket. Like out there. There. Oh, Perfect. Okay. Out in front. Oh, but okay. we want it, the remember, to get the height. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So you want your body weight going forward. Got it. Just a little behind, behind you. Me, That's okay. Okay. How many do you, do you do? I like three times. You're a three man? Okay. Yeah. Should do three to delay it. 
That's a fantastic oh. boss. Oh. Heck yeah. That's money. Oh. How are you uh, feeling? Uh, you know, I'm feeling uh, better than I thought. Yeah? Better than I thought. Uh, I'm sweating like a geyser. Yeah. But that was expected. I know that about myself. It's a humbling game. Like, yeah. you think uh, you have it one day and you come out, you may come out tomorrow and be like, mm. what just happened? I'd love to know a little bit more about your uh, tennis background and what, what that's been like. I started, I believe I was six years old. That's when my parents got me uh, a tennis racket for my mm. birthday. After school, I remember I grew up in Ohio and we had basements in Ohio and I would, right after school, go in the basement and hit aimlessly for hours. Mm. Always had aspirations to play professionally, you know? Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, even through college. But, you know, it was during my college years where I'm like, you know what, being, in my opinion, like top 50 is where you really have to be to make a great living. And in my heart of hearts, I knew I, didn't, I wasn't going to be that. Physically and, and talent-wise, I feel like I had the skill set. Um, mentally, I think I was a little underdeveloped mm. and uh, maybe lacked that self-belief at times, mm. which, um, thankfully, I, I fostered in a positive way to help me in other areas and learning from that mistake. How do you think, so you have a three-year-old daughter. Does tennis, I don't know, appear in how you are a father? If there's any parallels, it's like, you know what, being a single parent is no different than being on the court by yourself. Hmm. You know, you're having to make decisions on your own. You're trying to, you know, if things aren't going well, you got to have yourself and yourself only, hmm. you know, and so you have to figure things out. You need to self-motivate hmm. and you need to encourage. Yeah. And those are all the qualities I'm trying to instill in my daughter at a well, young age. Brian, thanks so much for sharing part of your story. And it's, it's just been a pleasure to learn more about you, get to know you as we go through this thing together. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I mean, I hope you're enjoying kind of just getting out there and hitting a few balls, getting the foundation down. And I think let's just go, like I said, let's have some fun. Let's hit some balls, you know, get the show down on the, you know, going and All right. let's have some fun. Let's do it. All right, let's play it. Let's see what happens. Come on, man. gonna go pretty quickly. Oh god. Out. Ah. Ah. No, no. What is, am I too? Still too low. Ah. One oh. Okay, one oh. Good game. Good game. Oh. Out there, right? That was out. Okay. Yes! That's out, love 15! Yeah! <laughs> I'll, I'll get warm. Oh. Nice shot. Oh, come on now! Brian, how, how am I doing? You're hanging in there. You know, you, you almost, you were close to making one return and I'm going all out, playing in my normal normal levels. So you, you're close to connecting on one. Close and, and connecting? Yeah. Do you think I could, I probably can't win a game against you. That's not realistic, do you think? Uh, you know, I mean, if I'm gonna go all out, I'm gonna say probably, probably not. not. What's like a good goal for me for the second half? I, I think if you, so I think one of the, two of the games you got the 15. Yeah. So let's say if you can get to 30. Then you're 30, okay. That's uh. That'd be a good goal. That'd be a good goal. No more love. Exactly. We don't want Only love. Only 30s, dirty 30s, 30s from now on. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, I do not want to admit how afraid, how frightening that is. Oh, my God. Try the one-handed backhand. I don't have time to even think what I'm going to do, and it's past me. Oh. No chance. Can I serve? You're up 4-0. So dark. So dark. Is it in? It's in. <laughs> oh! ah! ah, it's in. Oh god. Stay in. <laughs> it's okay. You have one more chance. One more chance. It's the speed of the serve that I did not account for. It's 120 miles an hour, 
coming straight at you. I just don't have the muscle speed to adjust in time. It's just too fast. You know, sir, serving was always one of my, uh, I'd like to think strengths. And so I'm going all out and he's making contact with it. Uh, last game here coming up. I'm going to continue to not hold back and uh, let's, see what he, let's see what happens. <laughs> this is a welt from the uh, serve I fielded with my leg. I don't know. Suspicious tactics. Ow! Oh, Wait! 30. Is that 30? That's 30. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh. Oh. All right. That is it for Mr. Bryant. Thank you again. Thanks, bro. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll find another pro next time to beat me up again. And hopefully he's as, he's as nice of a guy. <laughs> I don't All right. know. Thanks, guys. See Cheers. Guys. All right. Bye. Yeah, I'm home.